I'm Carmetta with Refashion Series, and today I'm going to show you how I took this 1990s dress and turned it into this fun new top. Let's go ahead and get started. The first step is deconstruction. I often use a seam ripper, but right now I'm using scissors. I'm removing the big shoulder pads as well as the collar, and I'm cutting the skirt separate from the bodice. After I do this, I'm going to grab my seam ripper and remove the ties from the front. And I'm going to cut off the sleeves and then cut off that point at the bottom as well. Now I'm going to show you how I'm raising the armhole by raising the seams on the shoulders. Now I've decided to go a different angle at this point and I've drawn this line with my chalk and I'm going to attach the skirt along that line. So I'm going to take this huge skirt piece, I'm going to gather it, and then I'm going to pin that gathered skirt onto that line. I hope that makes sense. It's a little bit complicated, but I'll, I'll keep showing you as we go through. So sewing on that line all the way through the back. Here it is pinned. It's gathered, it's pinned right on that line from the front to the back. And I'm gonna go ahead and sew that and then I will serge the inside so that they're nice and clean. At this point, I've trimmed one of my sleeves. So this sleeve right here has been trimmed a little bit shorter and this one is still longer. I'm going to cut that as well so that my sleeves are the same size. I'm just taking them in a little bit and getting rid of the huge poof that they came with originally. So again, I'm gonna remove that piece and I'll show you what that looks like right here. So this is all the poof and excess stuff I didn't need in that first sleeve. And here is the second sleeve cut. I'm removing that too. So I have these smaller sleeves that I will attach. Now I've gathered, well I've basted and gathered this one right here. The one on the left I haven't gathered yet. So the one on the right shows you the gathers that I put in to kind of ease it into the armhole. To sew sleeves, I like to put them so they're right side out and then you stick it inside the bodice when the bodice is inside out and you pin all the way around. I'm just gonna show you one pin or clip, but that's just how I like to do sleeves. I find it's the easiest. Now I've decided to take the ties and put them at the back of the neck and I've sewn the skirt pieces together at the back right there. Here's a close up of me adding the tie to that hole up by the neck. So I'm just gonna shove it in there, kind of spread it out how I want and then sew over it so it's clean. Some of you might know Sarah Tiao. She recommended adding a crochet trim to the sleeve. The original crocheted pieces weren't long enough to do it so I found this fabric in my stash and I'm gonna cut it out and put it on there. I also am going to lower the neckline because this is like almost choking me. So I have an extra piece of interface fabric. I've drawn where I want it. I'm gonna sew over it and then flip it all the way around and sew over it again. If you've done a neckline before, you, you probably know what I'm talking about. So I've sewn along that chalked line and then I'm gonna trim it, flip it in on itself and then sew it again. And I actually ended up having to take it off and do it three times. It was such a struggle, but I finally, this is on the third time I finally got it looking nice and flat and I've trimmed the inside. I'm just gonna sew or top stitch over it and make it look really nice. And that's what all those clips are there for to help keep it nice and flat. So we're feeling good about the neckline and we're feeling good about the ties, but the sleeve guys, something is horribly wrong with the sleeve. So I'm gonna take that off and put it back on again so it looks more like the sleeve over here. It just fits so much better. See, what what is that? So I fixed the sleeves and I've added that crochet trim and I've hemmed the sleeves and I've hemmed the bottom. The bottom almost ended up with um, kind of like a high-low look to it in the front and the back. And then the ties are awesome because not only can they be tied in a bow in the back above the cutout shape, but they can be tied in the front as well. So I will show you both of those in just one minute. Again, here's our before, a lovely 1990s dress that's not super wearable that has been transformed into this cute top that can be tied in the back or in the front. I love that it can be worn on a more casual day, like out to lunch or just running errands, but it can also be dressed up with this high-waisted skirt right here with a bow tied in the front and it looks quite fancy. <laughs> I'm super excited about it. Thanks again for all your recommendation and help on Instagram and subscribe and follow along.